Hi everyone. This is Tracy with the Oasis for Natural Healing. So um, today I want to talk about insomnia. Okay. A lot of people have insomnia, but first off, I want to make sure that you guys don't forget to like um, click, share, um, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Um, you can get a whole bunch of um, health tips and free health tips um, that we give um, on a routine basis. Um, so don't forget to, you can check us out on Instagram as well. Um, Oasis underscore for healing is our Instagram page um, and our Facebook page, obviously Oasis for natural healing. So don't forget to like and share. Um, and follow us. And then also don't forget to, um, for Platinum Chiropractic, um, they, you want to like and share them as well. Um, and then uh, Body and Brain Yoga of Orland Park. Okay, so you get really great tips um, and feedback. So don't forget to share. All right, so let's talk about insomnia. Okay. Um, lots of people have insomnia and it winds up causing a lot of um, issues. So a lot of people have it. Um, it. It can be defined as a couple different things. Um, and I want to kind of go ahead and share my screen with you guys. So, all right. Oh, Kidok. So give me just one second while oh, my computer is, there we go. Okay. All right. So obviously a lot of people are going to be watching this because you guys have insomnia. So tired of being tired? Well, let's get to it and say good night naturally. Okay. So insomnia effects, as I said, uh, many people, in fact, several million, uh, it can be defined as a couple different things, not being able to fall asleep. Okay. These are the people who kind of stare at the ceiling, trying to count sheep. Hopefully that those eyes stay closed. Or maybe you are one of those people that can fall asleep like that, but then you wake up frequently throughout the night and you're tossing and turning, you wake up, fall back asleep, you wake up, fall back asleep, sound familiar? Or maybe you guys fall asleep and you don't have to be up till seven o'clock and by gosh darn it, you guys are waking up at five o'clock on the dot and you're just like, I just want two more hours of sleep and you can't fall back asleep. So you're constantly waking up earlier than what you want or anticipated. This is what insomnia does, okay? This is basically insomnia in a nutshell. But as anybody who knows who suffers from insomnia, it affects more than just your sleep, okay? Now this is average, you know, some people require more, some people require less, but average is everybody's heard it eight hours of sleep. And some, there's some things that say that there, that's a myth and that you can get less than that, that you need less than that. But again, each person is slightly individualized and a little bit different, but on average, eight hours of sleep of uninterrupted sleep, um, is important, but why? So insomnia can cause, as you can see, um, an increase in anxiety and depression. So people who have um, insomnia and do not get the required amount of sleep or get poor quality of sleep, they, ha they have more anxiety, they get depressed more easily, things bother them, they can have um, a loss of temper, um, they get frustrated more easily. It also can lead to a decrease in hormone production. So testosterone levels, um, also growth factor hormone um, can also be decreased, which is also your anti-aging hormone. So, and studies have shown that both testosterone and the growth hormone are actually lower in people who don't get enough sleep. Um, also may increase uh, your risk of heart arrhythmias, so heart arrhythmia is where the heart does not beat as regularly as it should. Um, one of the most common one is atrial fibrillation. People also with insomnia are also known to have um, an increased risk of heart disease and cardiovascular issues. Um, sleep deprive can also cause insulin sensitivity. That means that you have a higher risk of developing diabetes, okay? Um, so those are just some of the things you can also wind up with brain fog and memory problems, lack of sleep, 
how well do you guys actually function on the job if you're constantly being tired, you're not getting enough sleep, you're not getting the proper amount of sleep. You also have a weakened immune system. Those with lack of sleep and that, that are not sleeping enough, they actually, their immune systems can't function properly. You have a tendency to get sick more often. So it doesn't just, uh, insomnia doesn't affect just your sleep and how tired you are. It affects your whole entire body. So how does this affect you as an individual? What are some of your symptoms other than just not sleeping and just being tired? How does this um, affect your relationships? How does it affect you on your job and your overall health? Or maybe, maybe you're watching this and maybe it's not affecting you, but you know somebody who gets lack of sleep and what is it like for you? Do they know that maybe they're not as tolerant or maybe they get irritable with you? You know, so maybe you notice that they, they're sick a lot more, more than what they should be or what you think that they should be. So, or maybe you're an employer and somebody does not sleep well and they're, you know, they're lacking on the job. So how is this affecting you if you know somebody who doesn't have, who, or who has insomnia? So, but let's get to the cause um, of insomnia, okay? Because there are actually different causes. So leaky gut is one of them, okay? Leaky gut, I explained this in a previous video, but I'm going to briefly touch over it. So leaky gut is um, basically where your gut lining is kind of weakened and usually it's by poor diet. Um, usually diets high in carbohydrates, sugars, it throws off the pH balance, weakens the immune system, um, or weakens the gut lining. And then particles like, uh, candida, bad bacteria, um, can, and food particles that are undigested can actually leak out of the gut and travel throughout the system. Well, leaky gut also increases cytokine, which is uh, protein levels, um, which basically can kind of disrupt on how cells and how the body can function. And people with leaky gut have increased cytokine. Cytokine can actually lead to insomnia. So it's um, leaky gut is a big thing. Uh, anxiety. So we know that insomnia can cause anxiety, but anxiety can also cause insomnia. People are laying down at night and they're worried about everything that they have to do tomorrow or stressed out over what happened during the day or what's going to be happening. And their mind just does not shut off. Does that sound familiar to you? So it, it, and it becomes a vicious cycle, right? So you have insomnia, which increases anxiety and the anxiety when you're trying to fall asleep at night, because you can't turn off your brain actually causes anxiety or causes insomnia. So you have this vicious cycle that just does not stop. Okay. Heavy metals and heavy toxins can also lead to uh, insomnia as well. And my favorite, which I talked about before, is parasites. Yes, that's right, parasites. Actually, believe it or not, 99.9% .9 of the human population has parasites and they don't even know it. And you can't test for it unless you're actively killing it because it can actually, they can be lodged into organ tissue. So doing um, you know, colonoscopy or a fecal sample, unless you're actually actively killing them, it's not gonna show up, okay? Um, and parasites, by the way, are more active, especially around the three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning um, time frame. So those of you who are waking up around that time and watch out for full moons, by the way, just saying. So if it's a full moon and you're waking up at three or four o'clock in the morning and you notice that your insomnia is worse around those times or your hormone levels are off around those times, chances are you got parasites. Um, mineral deficiencies. Oh, there's lots of um, mineral deficiencies that can actually lead to insomnia. Magnesium is one. Uh, magnesium is actually calms down the nervous system. It, it's actually very good for a lot of different things. So our parasympathetic nervous system is our relaxate, relaxation part of the nervous system, right? It, it's supposed to be on and kicked in when you're trying to sleep because it relaxes the body. It helps to lower blood pressure. It helps you digest food. It helps you to um, go to the bathroom more regularly. So magnesium kind of calms everything down. And remember, what's normal for you might not be normal for somebody else. 
So if I do a blood panel on you and your magnesiums are within the normal range and you're still having restless leg syndrome or any other type of um, sleeping problems or anxiety, your magnesium levels might be on the low normal for you because what's normal for everybody else might not be normal for you. And that's the problem with doing some blood work. It kind of gives us an idea because Western medicine in Western medicine, we don't know, you know, what else to go by, but that's, what's kind of neat about what it is that I do, because I test your body for specifically what you need and what your body actually needs. And a lot of people with insomnia also get restless leg syndrome where their legs can't stop moving and stuff. Chances are you have a magnesium deficiency. Okay. So subluxations, and I'm going to let platinum chiropractic talk a little bit more about that, but spine misalignment, but subluxations, which is basically spine misalignment can also cause insomnia. So, and guess what? If there's a cause, there is a solution. Okay. So parasites, parasitic cleanses, they do that all over the world, except some people like not really too readily in the United States, because for some reason we think that we're immune to everything, but in like Mexico and in other countries, they do parasitic cleanses on a regular basis. Why? Because they know that they can, that most people get parasites on and off throughout their life. Proper diet, again, leaky gut, high carbohydrate, that can actually raise blood sugar levels. And then there's hormonal imbalances and you can have ups and drops in your blood sugars and stuff like that. And that can actually cause insomnia or you to wake up throughout the middle of the night. So eating a proper diet, um, low carbohydrate, uh, paleo diet is, which is basically getting rid of your grains and your processed sugars, um, and dairies. Um, and then keeping it on the lower end of normal. I'm not saying necessarily strict keto, but definitely on the lower side, um, under 75 grams of, of carbohydrates is actually recommended. Proper supplements, making sure that you have all the right minerals and stuff and, and to support your organs and to support your nervous system um, are really important. And I'm not talking about the supplements that you get over the counter because most of the supplements that you can buy at your local grocery store are garbage supplements. Even if it says that it's natural, it only has to have one ingredient on there to be natural and they can label it natural and the rest can be all synthetic. So, and you don't know how they're processing it. You know, the supplements that we use, they're very, very meticulous about how they process um, their supplements um, and where they get their supplements from, where they get their sources of food from because they're whole food supplements and handling emotions. Handling emotions are so important. If your anxiety is through the roof, you're not going to sleep well, and you're going to start this vicious cycle all over again. So um, that being said, um, you know, like for, for handling emotions, I recommend yoga and Tai Chi, um, doing meditation. You can really get in touch with yourself, really figure out how to release some of these emotions accept your emotions and have no judgment on them and quiet the mind down. And that's really, really important for overall well-being. You know, there, it, there's a whole big connection about mind, body, spirit. Um, and that's really, really important. And body and brain yoga is really, a, um, we, I actually work with them um, as well. And they do online uh, Zoom private classes as well. So even if you're not in the area, you can contact them and they can do a one-on-one -on -one session with you. So that's really important too. And again, as I talked about, you know, handling your subluxations, but again, in just a little bit, I'm going to let Platinum Chiropractic kind of talk about that um, as well. Okay. So they're going to go a little bit more into depth with that. So as I said, so Nutrition response testing, which is basically what I do, and we're going to get into that right now, can really help a lot with insomnia. Okay, so as you look at the top, so you have insomnia, and everything is kind of connected, right? Nutritional deficiencies can lead to insomnia. Um, insomnia can actually lead to nutritional deficiencies because if you're not able to get proper sleep, your organs can't function properly, you're going to have an off digestive system, or, you know, so again, you have insomnia. You have nutritional deficiencies and organ dysfunction. 
and it can go in any direction as either way. So organ dysfunction can cause insomnia, which can lead to nutritional deficiencies. Nutritional deficiencies can cause organ dysfunction, which can lead to insomnia and vice versa. Okay. And I want to kind of replace insomnia with sugar. So, and again, all carbohydrates break down to sugar. Okay. Sugar can, is, it has been so known to lead to um, organ dysfunction. It causes a lot of inflammation in the body. It can lead to a lot of nutritional deficiencies, including magnesium, which we just discussed that magnesium is really, really uh, um, important for actually calming down your nervous system and helping you fall asleep. Also, it's important for the cardiovascular system musculoskeletal system, your, um, your digestion. Um, it, it's just a really important uh, nutrient as well as many others. So sh sugar can actually lead to a lot of nutritional deficiencies and organ dysfunction and vice versa. So how do we handle this through nutrition response testing? So what I do is I basically use acupressure points in order to find out what organs are not functioning properly and the reason why. So we talked about parasites. So yes, I can find out if you have parasites without doing blood work, without doing a stool sample. And yes, it seems wonky, but yes, I can. Um, we can find out whether you have nutritional deficiencies. We can find out if you have toxins in your system through nutrition response testing. So, and then we use design clinical nutrition. So each person, their reasons why they might not be sleeping might be completely different than why you might not be sleeping. Somebody might have heavy metals and heavy chemicals, and it might be from their thyroid. Maybe their thyroid is stressed out. You, maybe it's your adrenals and maybe it's food intolerances along with parasites, for instance. So each program is designed specifically for you and it takes the guesswork out of what supplements your body actually needs. And that is kind of, um, it, it, it's actually remarkable. The results are amazing. So we, um, and I'm going to bring this page back up in just a little bit, but here are our contact information. Now I do also see um, patients, for, I have virtual patients. Uh, so I see pe people local. So even if you don't live local, it doesn't matter. I can still help you. So you, if you're interested or you have somebody that um, could benefit from this, give them this number to call. Otherwise, I'm actually inside body and brain yoga of Tai Chi. And I'll put this uh, information up again at the end of the presentation. Uh, but right now, I am actually going to send this over to Karen. Hi, my name is Karen um, with Platinum Chiropractic in Palos Heights, Illinois. Um, chiropractic really does mesh well with everything Tracy's been talking about. Um, most people are familiar with chiropractors and what they can do, what they what they could bring to the table for it all. As far as chiropractic and insomnia, adjustments are clearly a huge part of the equation. Regular chiropractic care can help your body regulate normally. Uh, Tracy had mentioned the, I don't like the word subluxation, but the misalignments within the spine, any of the vertebrae, you can have a slight misalignment and anything can trigger that. Um, regular chiropractic care can help balance your body naturally and help your body regulate normally. Your chiropractor can also help guide you through nutritional and lifestyle suggestions to help you develop healthier sleep patterns. Um, Tracy is a, a key element to that as well. That would be who I would defer to nutritionally. As far as in depth, um, we can clearly do some surface stuff, but Tracy is very well-versed in 
nutrition response testing and seeing exactly what your body needs individually. As Tracy explained, insomnia causes a myriad of effects. Adjustments can help with the physical causes. Issues with the neck and spine can contribute to endocrine system problems by creating unhealthy nerve impulses. This chemical dysfunction then causes imbalanced chemistry in the brain and body. By addressing the misalignment, adjustments can help balance the hormones and thereby provide possible relief from insomnia. Alongside adjustments, your chiro may recommend other interventions. Lifestyle changes are pretty key. As Tracy mentioned, yoga and Tai Chi are incredible ways to learn how to mitigate stress, which is a very huge part of insomnia for a lot of people. Body and brain is also my favorite place to go to for that. Um, There's a number, any number of things, even if you can't get to get into a practice like that, setting aside time for regular exercise, walking, running, even weightlifting, um, anything that gets your body up and moving regularly. We've become more sedentary overall, and that isn't really what our bodies were designed for. Um, patients also should reduce caffeine and sugar intakes as Tracy was touching on. Also using supplements. For me, my main ones are magnesium, um, valerian root, and occasionally melatonin. I really am not too big with that. My, because I went through an extensive cancer battle years ago, my body is chronically deficient in magnesium. So I know I've learned to recognize the symptoms for myself and when I need to up my intake. So over time, once you've started implementing some of these changes, oh, and before I forget, Another big thing that chiropractic can help with is specifically our office. Dr. Rory is also a certified acupuncturist. Acupuncture is another amazing way to help with insomnia and insomnia related issues. Um, basically your best bet, if you're suffering, if someone you love is suffering, give one of us a call. We work as a team, we can point you in the right direction and our goal is to help you be your best you. It may not always be an overnight fix, but we can get you going in the right direction. Okay, so I just wanted to, you know, and if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to call or ask. Um, you can leave comments in um, on the Facebook feed, on the Instagram feed that I'm going to, um, cause I'm gonna be loading this up on Instagram and on my YouTube channel. So if you have somebody maybe who isn't on Facebook that you would like to share this with, it will be up on my YouTube channel. You can, you know, don't hesitate to call us. Um, you know, if you have any suggestions of other health topics that you would like to learn about, or you would like to kind of know a little bit more information about, put that in the comment section too. We are trying to do these health talks like once a week um, to kind of give a little bit of idea of how you get sick or how you have symptoms, why you have your symptoms, because guess what? If there's a reason why, there's always a solution. So, um, and again, I'm going to share, um, my information. So here is our information again. So the Oasis for Natural Healing, that's me, 708-261-6867, Platinum Chiropractice in Palos Heights, <clears throat> 708-361-8800, or Body and Brain Yoga Tai Chi of Orland Park, 708-226-0245. 
Thanks for joining us and have a wonderful evening.